Control arm is one of the main components in a vehicle suspension system. It connects the wheel to the vehicle frame and keeps the wheels stable especially when accelerating or braking. Following are some symptoms when the control arm goes bad. When you have a bad lower arm, the first sign you notice will be uneven tire tread wear. A worn control arm cannot keep the wheel stable and cause misalignment. These misaligned wheels will wear out the tire unevenly or excessively. One should check the tires regularly to identify if there's excessive wear in your tires. Mostly the inside portion wears out fast. If left unnoticed could cause tire bursting and could end up in severe accidents. The second most common symptom when the lower control arm goes bad, you may hear clunking or knocking noises from wheels. When the bushings or joints in the lower arm go bad, it becomes too loose and forms a play in its place. This makes a clunking noise when you take off or drive through rough terrain as the loose metal components hit each other. The clunking sound will continuously get louder by time as the component wears or until it eventually breaks. The third common symptoms when the lower arm goes bad will be steering wheel vibrations. A bad or loose control arm cannot keep the wheel stable on the road. This causes your wheel to wobble and vibrate over rough roads or at high speeds. The fourth symptom when the lower control arm goes bad is vehicle wandering. Excessively worn lower arm can cause the vehicle's steering alignment to shift continuously. This will cause the steering wheel to pull to the left or right when traveling. A constant correction of steering from the driver might be required in order to maintain the vehicle straight. The fifth symptom associated with damaged lower arm will be unstable braking. Control arm holds the vehicle's braking power and keeps the wheels stable. But when it goes bad and cannot hold the wheel in position, might affect the braking of the vehicle. When braking suddenly, the front end of the car may continue to oscillate back and forth as the car slows. Also the side with a bad lower arm experiences more road friction and may cause the vehicle to pull towards that side while braking. Now, you can test your wheels yourself to check if they're moving more than they're supposed to. Jack the vehicle up, so one of the wheels is off the ground. Wiggle the wheels in every direction. If you feel there's a play or if the wheel has a wiggle, it's time to give a check on your lower arm and suspension parts.